CJ Stroud has taken the NFL by storm in his rookie season, elevating the Houston Texans offense and turning himself into a household name in the process. Not only is he breaking records and hurtling towards the offensive rookie of the year, but he's also positioning the Houston Texans for a playoff push in his first year as a pro. Stroud's maturity, dedication to his craft, and ability to lead have very quickly won over both his teammates and the fans of the Texans. But who is CJ Stroud off the field? What got him to the position he's in right now? How does he prepare himself to be the best version of himself? And how does he spend his spare time when he's not out on the gridiron? This is a day in the life of the future MVP of the National Football League. As many know, CJ Stroud had a troubled childhood and his family didn't have it easy. His father, who was his best and closest friend, was taken away and imprisoned after pleading guilty to multiple charges. Stroud held his troubles against his father for a long time. He just stopped showing up, stopped being around the house and stopped taking me to practice. He was just a kid trying to navigate the pain he faced and ignored his father's calls for five years. Now as a professional quarterback and a man of maturity, he speaks to his pops as often as he can. And a conversation with dad is one of the most consistent elements of his daily routine. Stroud's father hasn't been able to see him play college or professional ball in person, but he's praying that one day he can. The situation his father finds himself in is one of the things CJ has been most vocal about with his newfound platform. Platform. While he understands that criminals must serve their time, he has voiced his concern over the conditions in which prisoners are held. Following a week nine game this season and one of his greatest performances of the year, throwing for 470 passing yards and five touchdowns against the Buccaneers, Stroud took a moment to voice his opinion. I want to make this public, man, but like, the, our criminal justice system is right. Um, and it's something that I, I need to probably be a little more vocal about because um, what he's going through is not right. Um, and he called me this week and we got to talk. Um, and I just, I'm praying for the situation on a reform and the people um, with reform are helping me a little bit. But um, I think just letting it be known, man, like now it's not just my dad's situation, but the whole uh, criminal justice is corrupt. His dad has dealt with rats and roaches in the prison, and Stroud believes that while they should serve their time for the crime, they're still humans. An absent father meant that CJ Stroud had to grow up fast and support his mother, and his maturity helped him grow as a quarterback. He played his high school football at Rancho Cucamonga High School in California, and it was during those high school playing days that he formed another of his most consistent routines. On game days, under the Friday night lights, CJ Stroud always had the same go-to song to help him zone in on the task ahead. He'd put his headphones on, open up his phone, and hit play on the same song, like clockwork, every single game. Wins and Losses by Meek Mill resonated with Stroud. That song gave him the ultimate focus, and it was that focus that led to his rise through the high school ranks and an eventual invite to the Elite 11 quarterback program for the nation's best high school signal callers. His love for music doesn't stop there either. In his downtime, CJ gets on YouTube and picks out beats he likes, and before you know it, he's making his own rap music. He's like, nice with it, for real. <laughs> when you make your music, who be making your beats and all that type of shit? I'll be on YouTube. For real? Type beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah type beats. Yeah. I love music. Like, Instead of homework, he was just rapping. For sure. <laughs> Music is a particular passion of his. Growing up in Southern California, listening to the likes of Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, The Dog Pound, Tupac, Nipsey Hussle. As a high school prospect, Stroud rose through the ranks and eventually had offers from many top schools, including Georgia, Michigan, and the Ohio State Buckeyes. He chose the Buckeyes and that decision certainly worked in his favor, but he's never forgotten his roots. He would return to Rancho Cucamonga as often as he could during the off season and in his downtime, meeting up with his former high school coaches and teammates to work out, play football, and continue to work on his craft. Stroud is a humble young man whose roots are deeply embedded in Southern California, and he takes an opportunity when he can to head there and support his community. At Ohio State, he majored in human development and family sciences, but off the field, he loves to cook. During his Buckeye days, Stroud would have teammates
teammates over, including the wide receivers and guys like now Seahawks wideout JSN, and the quarterback would hit the grill and make soul food for the squad. Turns out that the NFL quarterback studies recipes on TikTok and then hops in the kitchen and gives those recipes a try. He can make soul food, Mexican food, Italian food, and will just about try anything in the kitchen. He first learned to cook from his mom, but now he fancies himself a hot shot in the kitchen all by himself. With the barbecue at home, Stroud is always making something and prides himself on learning how to make new dishes and sharing them with friends and family. Now in Houston, Stroud is out trying to discover the local food scene and comparing it to what he knows from his time growing up in LA. So if it's a Houston Texans day off, you might find CJ out trying to discover a hidden gem on the culinary scene down in Houston. Food isn't the only thing Stroud has studied online though. He got better in high school studying football tape on his favorite NFL quarterback, Drew Brees. He tried to replicate the Saints icons game, mechanics, and decision making. And clearly a lot of those things he studied have have stuck with him as a developing quarterback. Now in 2023, that routine has come full circle. Drew Brees is now watching CJ Stroud game tape and breaking his game-winning drives for the Texans down on YouTube. Talk about his footwork. I'm gonna talk about his quick release. I'm gonna talk about his decision-making. Can't wait to show you the tape. Let's jump right in. Words that must mean the world to the Texans franchise quarterback. Breeze isn't the only quarterback CJ Stroud looks up to though. And when given the opportunity to hang out with Tom Brady, he was once again ready to go with the questions that would help him learn and grow as a player from the very best to ever do it. While featuring on Tom Brady's Let's Go podcast, Stroud took the opportunity to ask Brady how he kept his composure and managed his mentality once he started playing at a high level. He noted that he had people reaching out now that he was starting to find success in the NFL and wanted to pick Brady's brain on how to handle the spotlight. You're out there trying to perform, trying to dig deep for your teammates, and that requires intense focus for a long period of time. There's discipline that starts the beginning in August all the way through the end of the season. While Brady spoke, Stroud was locked in, laser focused on every word Brady said. It's that dedication, mentality, and refusal to stop asking questions that has helped CJ Stroud get to where he is. And it looks as though his level of focus is going to be impossible to bring down, as well as appreciating the greatness of those who came before him in the NFL. Stroud has always had a passion for basketball. He was a huge fan of Kobe Bryant growing up, watching the Mamba bring his multiple championships to his hometown Lakers, and he played in high school at Rancho Cucamonga as well on the football field. Now a pro in the NFL, Stroud has referred to some of his favorite NBA players multiple times, clearly following the league closely. Before the season, Stroud got an opportunity to step out on the court at the Toyota Center with the Houston Rockets playing the Lakers. He'd been doing his media rounds and getting to know the city, but got a chance to embrace LeBron before the game. He once again noted his admiration for LeBron James, a guy who has been doing it at the very highest since Stroud was a kid. But it wasn't just his basketball that the Texans quarterback look up to. He spoke of his leadership and his success as a businessman. Business is something that Stroud clearly has a keen interest in. He had picked up his own NIL deals as well, partnering with an auto dealership that had him trying out a $150,000 Bentley. Once he hopped out of it, the $200,000 G-Wagon had caught his eye and it was his drive around campus for the 2022 season at Ohio State. Now in the NFL and making a pretty healthy salary, I'd say, there's no doubt CJ Stroud's business interests will continue to shine through. Perhaps his music or his passion for cooking will lead to a business opportunity down the line. But for now, he seems quite content working with the kids at his youth football camp. When he gets some time away from the commitment of being a professional quarterback, CJ Stroud has shown his dedication to giving back to the community. He ran a youth football camp at Texas Christian High School in October to give the kids some hope and inspiration, just as he had needed as a young aspiring athlete. I mean, when he was out there, he looked like he was having a blast and said, it's cool to see the new generation of kids wanting to play outside because a lot of them are iPad kids. It was kind of cool to see them out there having fun. CJ Stroud, a rapper, chef, entrepreneur, and a family man. A kid whose dream of playing in the NFL was realized by dedication and laser focus, now paying off in the biggest of ways. How far do you think CJ Stroud might go in the league? Is he a Super Bowl caliber quarterback, an MVP, an all pro? Let us know down in the comment section below or in our exclusive discord down in the link.